Hello and welcome to Crafty Learns Mnemonics. This is the first episode we're going to do, and uh, it, this is just to talk about the foundations of mnemonics, which is uh, what everything's based on. All the systems generally are based on th these three ideas. So as you can see, we've got three sort of pictures just to illustrate. And we're going to talk about it in in turn. So first of all, the idea of mnemonics is to keep retain things in the memory. But the memory, as it works, needs something to hang on to. So we're going to talk about the familiar first. So you, the mind uses the things that are familiar because they're so unconscious. For example, here we have a room, a, a, an ordinary room. And uh, you remember, for example, if it's your front room, you know it by heart, you know where everything is. Your house, you know by heart. And uh, everything is familiar. You know where everything is unconsciously. And you know the lookout, the layout, uh, where things, well, not maybe where things are, but generally, you know where the sofa is, blah, blah, blah. You understand that? So this is a film familiar. There are other things, for example, like uh, roots. And if I can it spell out, then don't worry. Roots. <laughs> For example, your route if you go to school, or your route if you go to university or work, or uh, shopping routes when you go to the shopping. Any route that you take, that any traveling route that is familiar to you. There's also th other things which are familiar, or routines. So, for example, your morning routine, which can be also combined with a route so for example you get up in the morning you go to the bathroom you do things in the bathroom I'm not gonna label them and then you go to do maybe you have some breakfast and you go so you go into the kitchen you have a routine and the thing so these are routines are familiar to you and the other thing is uh, things that are familiar to you are people All right uh, this is another familiar thing and so People you know well, or you don't forget very often. The other thing is, uh, for example, you could add to that famous people because you tend to have them in your conscious a lot. Um, well, anything famous basically that is uh, known to you and familiar to you, and uh, this is the one of the foundations of the of. Uh, mnemonics so the next foundation we'll look at actually is the absurd this is imagination okay generally anything that is very strange to you uh, you, you must use and, and call I'm calling it the absurd because it makes an impression you know so anything strange anything strange weird you know, freaky, you know, out of the ordinary, ordinary, if I can spell it, then I can it because it's gone all strange. Hey, <laughs> I hate laptops. Yeah, anything out of the ordinary, not out of the strange. So anything out of the, <laughs> now this is out of the ordinary. Or is it? Because I kind of type, and this seems to be a running commentary in all my videos. So anything um, absurd, anything you use imagine anything, anything strange, weird, freaky, out of the ordinary. Now, you have these two polar opposites, the familiar and the absurd. And what mnemonics does, as we see here in the, in the middle, it makes an association. All most mnemonic systems make an association between the familiar and the absurd. And this is what we're looking for. To take things that are familiar and link them with things that are absurd. And this is how you remember. Most systems use this type of thing. So for example, if you're familiar with numbers, or things like that, numbers are difficult, but you add from, for example, we'll, the first system we'll look at is just a basic number system, where, where we change numbers into objects that are familiar to us. So we can remember numbers a bit better. And that will be the next video but uh, this one is just about how we do it so we take that which is familiar and change and connect it 
link it to that which is absurd so it's it's not a bit a difficult thing it's just using what you know and using your imagination and that's it and then just joining them together so this is the foundation of it I'm not going to go on too much because you don't need to know more than this uh, and you'll start to see in the different systems we use how it's uh, applicable so uh, I hope this helps and uh, have a good one and I'll see you in the next video Toodaloo <laughs>